Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. We're back down here at the Methodist Church and we're going to go ahead and try to record this cemetery before the rain moves in. So yeah, we're going to get at it and see what we got. Alright. We'll start right here. This is Kali. She's the daughter of L and F. Trizzle or something like that. Looks like she died January the 10th, 1884, at the age of 15 years and 10 days on that one. Then you got John. Re Reb man? Reb man or something like that? He was born May the uh, 19th, 1814 is what it looks like. And he died August the 23rd, 18. 86 on that one and then you got Franny on this side and Franny's the wife of John Ribman Ribman or something like that anyway she was born January the 14th 1816 and died March the 19th 1888 all right then we got this one and it's going to be Tom Thomas uh, Strasburg or something like that. Anyways, he died April the 22nd, 18, I don't know if that's a 2 or what that is, 77. He was 60, looks like 69 years, 5 months, and maybe one day on that one. Then you have his wife over here, you have Rebecca, and she died March the 24th. 1873 she was 64 years two months and then 27 days then you have this one and it's going to be whole birdie or something like that and he died in 1840 and you can't tell the month it's a two war gone then you have Mariah, she's the wife of W.M. Uh, Burnett, she died September the, looks like 19th, 1872, At 38 years it looks to me like on that one, then you have, uh, I don't know if it's going to do any good with the light on that one or not, <clears throat> these lights are pretty bright and you still can't see it, so, that's a waste of time on that one. We'll just move on. I got this one. I can't really see it either. I'm going to move on. It might work in some places, but it don't work here. All right. Then, I'm not sure on this one who it is. But there it is. Same with this one. They're too far gone. When they're too far gone, a light ain't going to help. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. This is October the 5th, 1847 on this one. But the name is a Mary F. This one here. It's David somebody. But that's all you can tell. It's David. All right. Then you have this one. And it might help on something like this. But it'd cost you more time trying to do that with me than what it would be to just say, you know, this one here is unreadable for me and move on. It takes me long enough already to read the whole cemetery. Now, if you're doing one stone, yeah, a light's pretty, pretty smooth deal. But when you're doing a whole cemetery, a uh, light could cost you even more time. And... You know, Martin, uh, Hill, Hill, or something like that. Anyways, uh, July looks like maybe, no, August the 7th. I want to say 1868 in that one. Then you got Rachel Dottie. She's the wife of A. Nelson, born July the 3rd, 1821, and died August 21st, 1896. Then you have 
Andrew Nelson, born December the 11th, 1814, and died May the 22nd, 1890. Then you have Taylor, no, yeah, Taylor Nelson. And Taylor Nelson, that's just too far gone, you can't read it. Then you have this one. You can't, you can't read it. I mean, I don't care how many lights you shine on some of them, it ain't gonna do no good. This one's a veteran. That's all I know. This one here is Isabel. And Isabel died in 1861 on that one. This one here, you can't really tell much about it. When they get that far gone, it's just pretty much, they're gone. This one died November the 26th, 1862 on that one. Christian Ward, August 30th, 1818, died April 25th, 1886. And I know some people argue with me and say, oh, the light worked. Well, I mean, for you, maybe, not for me. Not doing what I gotta do. And, folks, or something like that. Wife of Christ Christian Ward, born April the 13th, 1818, and died November the 3rd, 1892. You know, some of them, I mean, yeah, it does help um, with the light. But I ain't got the time with doing a whole cemetery to hold on one stone. You know, show you ends, let you can see what I see, and I just move on. Right there, like that. Now, I can tell this one died in 1861, but that's all I can really tell. And I tell you what I see, and then I move on. Here's this one. Can't tell nothing about it, but there it is. Same with this one. Most of these are gonna be infants. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on infant graves because I've seen enough infant graves. You know? I will land on some of them. Not every one of them. This one here is just sad. It's busted all to pieces. Like that's an infant. That's an infant. That's an infant or a child. That's an infant. And then you got a veteran right here. And a little bit bigger one. All right. Then you got, what, Volsenberg or something like that? Harriet. She's the wife of William. Uh, March the 1st, 1821 to November the 27th. 1889 she was 68 years eight months and 26 days then you got john and it goes it dies and it goes into the ground you can't tell nothing about that one you can't tell nothing really about that one and you definitely can't tell nothing about that one it's broken but there it is all right next we have charlotte She's the wife of Isaac, what, Connie. Died July the 15th, 1888. 58 years, five months, and 27 days. And I've got big lights, I've got little lights. I've tried all kinds of lights. Isaac, died May the 13th, 1885. 75 years, 10 months, and two days. I just ain't got the time to sit there and hold lights. Not with what I'm doing, but the whole cemetery, no. Then we got Julianne Baker. She's the wife of B.H. Edgar or something like that. Died March the 12th, 1880. She was 54 years, six months, and two days. And then you got A.H. Hager. He died September the 15th, 1824. December the 2nd, 1909. And the way the memory gets laid up on these phones, you can't hold up too long. You won't have any time to record anything. Can't see that one. Can't see that one. Can't see that one. Can't, we can barely make that one out. And it looks almost, looks like this. It says that they died in 1818, but I ain't gonna say it is, because I don't know. So we're gonna skip that one and go on. Then we're over here. And this is, I'm not sure on the name. Orin, I think. 
Swankton, Swankford, Swankford. Born July the 19th, 1854, and died April the 15th, 1887. He was 32 years, 8 months, and 26 days. Then you have that one you can't see. Uh, you have Israel Swainford, born October the 9th, 1818, and died, what, March? March the 11th, 1905. Uh, what is it? Matilda or something like that, or Melinda or something, Melinda, his wife, July the 29th, 1854 is when she died. She was 35 years, 9 months, and 6 days on her. Then you have uh, Mary Ann. She's the wife of A.N.W. Wainford. She died February the 10th, 1883. She was 30 years, 5 months, and 18 days on her. Then you have, what, Morris or Doris? Doris. Hey, that's the first time I heard the name Doris. I think she died in 1852, but I would swear to it. Then you got another Mary Ann. She was married to Swainford as well. And I can't tell exactly when she died. So that's two Mary Ann's he had. Then you got an Anthony Swainford on this one and I can't tell when he died either all right let's go over here to this one we got that road knocked out then we got John France he died August 25th 1871 he was 57 years 10 months and 12 days then you got Matilda his wife died March the 3rd 1898 age 87 years 9 months and 12 days no, if I had one stone to do, I mean, I, yeah, you, light would come in handy, but doing a bunch like this, you wouldn't have the time. You'd be tied up so long, and the recording would be ridiculous. And you wouldn't have no time to record nothing because you'd be out of memory. Or whatever they call it. I don't know what you call it. Anyways, this is a beautiful stone here. I love this one. And it belongs to Sarah W. She's the wife of, I think, Andrew something. Curtis, I think, Andrew Curtis. She died July the 18th, 1857. She was only 37 years. And it looks like one day on that beautiful stone. Then you got Jenny. She's the wife of E.E. E. Williams. She died uh, March the 7th, 18, I want to say 72 on her. Uh... I know she wasn't seven years, so I don't know what that is. Anyways, we'll move on. We're not going to say seven years. There's no way. Then you got William over here. And he died October the 19th, 1856. It says he was 112 right there, 10 months and five days. So I don't know on that one. He'd be young judge on that one. Then you got uh, Nancy Williams. She's the wife of James working and she died January the 8th 1892 she was 64 years one month and nine days then you got uh, James Wharton died November the 30th eight no he's born November the 30th 1817 September the 4th 1907 when he died he was 90 years old on that stone then you got two more infants right here then you have another infant here, I think, on that one. Then you have uh, this is McEmily, McEmily on this stone. She was counseled of the Reverend W.F. Ministry or something like that who departed his life September the 2nd, 1835, at the age of 21 years and 6 days. While well, blessed are thee that die in the Lord. Very beautiful stone right there. Then you have initials on this one. It's uh, in the memory of E.P.G.M. Then you have probably an infant here, or a child. Or an infant and a child here. 
All right, we done those. This is two more infants right here. That's what I'm saying on the infant graves. You know, you see so many of them. Then you have, this one died in November the 28th, 1851, 19 years. Uh, I can't really tell the months, but it looks like six days on that one. These are both beautiful stones. Then this is a, uh, what? Minery? Something, or Minery Ann or something like that? Something to the J&A Wharton, Wharton family. Uh, she died in 1862, May the 22nd. But I don't know the age. Can't really make it out. This is another child on that one. Then you have Robert Wharton. And he died March, this looks like 6, 1863. He was only 25 years, 6 months, and 18 days on that one. Then you got this pretty stone. And this is Clara Bath, or Clara Bell, I'm sorry. She's the daughter of J and A Wharton, and she died August the 15th, 1881. She's only 24 years, 9 months, and 23 days. I think she's the only one that's on there. Most of these have only got one person. Then you got this big, beautiful stone here, hanging over the cliff. And it's a Amelia Wharton. She's the wife of H. A. Thomas. May the 10th, 1854, to December the 25th, 1882. Then you have John Wharton, November the 10th, 1825, to January the 9th, 1888. I mean, 98, 9, 99. Getting tongue-tied. Mary Lois uh, Wright, his wife, April the 2nd, 1832, to November the 14th, 1909, 1903, I'm sorry. And this thing is really loose dirt in this thing, too, by the way. So you're falling while you're walking. Then you have Cora T. Wharton, April the 16th, 18... I want to say 64 to April the 1st, 1890 or 80. You make it, you, you tell me if that's 80 or 90. I believe it might be... It's got to be 90. Well, it might be 80. I don't know. You be the judge. Then we got Emma Wharton, October the 18th, 1861, April the 1st, 1887. On that one. Then you got this one. And it's going to be uh, Elijah Dickin. Uh, he died May the 30th, 1878. He was 58 years and 18 days. His wife, Sarah, born 1820 and died 1892 on that stone right there, guys. All right, then you got this big old stone right here, guys. And it's going to belong to Andrew Burns. He died May the 12th, 1857, at the age of 77 years. Sarah, his wife of Andrew Burns, died April the 25th, 1851. She was 73 years, 5 months, and 12 days on that stone right there. Then you have this stone right here. And it's going to be Tilda Sexton. And I can't tell when Miss Tilda Sexton died because you can't really read that one. But then you got Annie or something like that. No, it ain't Annie either. I'm not sure. Something eat, uh, what, Beaton? It looks like... R.A. Beaton or something like that. Anyways, they died May the 8th, 1871, on this, or no, 73, at the age of 51 years, 7 months, and I want to say 11 days on that one. Then you have this one here, and it just says father and mother. So father's going to be right here, and father, I can't tell who his name is. I think it's William Burton, but he died a... 1860, but I can't tell the month and I can't tell the day. All right. Then you have her over here, and you can't tell nothing on her on that one. So we move on. Then we have Nancy. She's the wife of John Wilford, or Wilt, Wilt, 
Wharton, Wharton. She died August 15th, 1831. She was only 35 years old. Then you have Anna and John Wharton. Okay, John Wharton, January the 2nd, eight, uh, 1789 to February the 7th, 1862. Anna Wharton, his wife, June the 6th, 1814 to March the 26th. Looks like 1900 on that one. Then we have John W. And John W. died, I want to say December the 1st, 1863 on him. It's 61 years on him. Then over here, I really couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Looks like they died in 72, though. And then you have uh, Garrett or something like that. Gret Greta. It's Greta. Okay, Greta. And I can't tell you when Greta, Greta died. I can't tell. Then we have uh, Richard Bard. Or no. Yeah, Richard Barr. He died in 1848, August the 3rd, or 13th. You be the judge. Then you got Anna, and I'm not sure on the last name, but it looks like she died, I want to say February the 15th, 1846 on her. Then you have uh, David Barton, or Barr, I mean. David Barr Dickinson, I think it says. Anyways, it looks like he might have died in 1830, maybe on that one. I'm not sure. It looks like a 30 to me. And this one here, they died in 1855 or 30. No. This is in a child's grave. They were born in 55, and it looks like they died in 56 as a one-year-old. That's what I'm saying. Most of the, these right here are all children's graves. Stones. Then he got a snapped off. This one died in 1851. It's a George F. on that one. Then you have S. A. Rayburn or something like that. Died April the 11th, 1853. 28 years, 11 months, and maybe one day on that one. There's a different looking stone. I've not seen one like this anywhere. And it's going to be Maddie. But I can't tell when Maddie died. Because it don't tell me on there. Unless it was right here. And it's gone. But shall we move on? This one here. Uh, not sure of the name. But they died in 1861. They were only 18 years and 5 months. A lot of kids, children. That's going to be a child. That's going to be a child. I'm not going to be able to read this one, I don't think. That's going to be more like going to be a child too, probably more than likely. And then you got Phil Barry, 1807 to 1856. Mary, his wife, 1808 to 1874. Then you got, this is a neat looking one. Uh, and it's probably going to be a child too. But there it is because it's neat. We'll land on it. This one here, they dug deep so it'll be here for a bit. This is going to be what? Natasha or something like that? Ferguson or something like that. Anyways. She died December the 18th, 1864. She was 38 years and 11 months. Then you got Robert. It's Houston, okay. Anyways, he died July the 1st or 4th, you be the judge, 1863. He was 61 years, 11 months, and 21 days. Then you got Sarah. She's the wife of Mr. Houston. And she died in 
It looks like 1880. It's 76 years, one month, and 13 days is what I see. This one here, I'm not sure. I mean, I can't tell when they died or nothing, but there it is. Then we have Mary, Mary Leba, or something like that, Mary Lieb. She's the wife of J, no, she's the daughter of J.P. Houston, or Houston. Host, I think it's Houston instead of Houston. May the 1st, 1861 or 4. And it looks like she was 7 years, 5 months, and maybe 17 days. Then I'm not sure on this one, but they died in 1863 on that one. Then you can't really tell nothing on that one, but it's a veteran. I can't see that one. That's an infant or a child. This is William uh, Mac. I don't know, Mac something. Anyways, he died September the 11th, 1865 on that one. Then this is Will Berry. So it's probably going to be Mac William Berry over there. And this is Will Berry. They're probably brothers. Uh, died April the 12th, 1862. He looks like he was, what, 21 years it looks like, in 8 months and 25 days is what I think I see. I don't know. You be the judge on that one. That's going to be probably a child right here. We'll walk to it and see. I like to visit all of them regardless, you know, pretty much. I'll walk by the others and kind of glance down at them. I just don't want to stop on all of them. This could possibly be a child or a, one of the older military type graves stones because some of the military stones were shaped like this. So that could be possibly either one. I bet you I can't read it, so I don't know. And this one here is going to be probably a child that had a design in the middle. The guy must have just mowed the other day, too, because the grass is all blowed over him again. This is Smith. And uh, 1871 to 1888, Sarah 1853 to 1911, and Will 1847 to 1923. That stone looks like it's been hit and knocked around. That one back there looked like it's been snapped off. Two of them actually. Can't read that one. And you can't really see to read that one. If he mows like that boy at mowed at that cemetery I was at yesterday. It ain't no wonder the stones are broke. This is High Glen. No, Hugh Glen. I'm sorry. High Glen. Hugh Glen died September the 11th, 1855. 61 years, 7 months, and 13 days. And you have no idea on these because these are damn cheap stones. They're made out of limestone, I think they said they were. And they just don't hold up. But here's Joseph Glenn. Uh, looks like he might have been born February the 25th, 1830. And he died December the 17th, 1901 on that one. Get a good walk in. That's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm going the whole way down. This one here died in 1842. Eve, Eve did. Little Miss Eve, she's the wife of, I can't make out his name. Anyways, that's Eve. Got one missing probably right there, it looks like. These are black, you can't read them. Plus that one's broken, partially gone. I don't know what they do with the pieces when they're gone because I don't see them stacked up anywhere to be put back. I would say they'll probably get thrown away if I was a guessing man. Because I've been places where I've seen them thrown over the hills in dumpsters. September the 30th, 1865 is when Eddie died. He was only six months and four days. And look at that stone, guys. See the difference in the stones? See, that says right there he's a, a child, right? They've got him marked as a veteran right there.
as a veteran. And he is not a veteran. And that stone's fixing to break the whole way up through here, the whole way up. But they got him marked as a veteran, and he's not even a veteran. He a was a child, a baby. Here's Sarah. She's the wife of Thomas. Uh, what, what, Grantwell? She died August 11th. No, August 11th. She died April the 3rd, 1865, at the age of 63 years, 3 months, and 9 days. But everybody's human. They can make mistakes, too. Here's Thomas Cantwell. Died March the 20th, 1867. He was 63 years, 5 months, and 16 days. Then you have... Sorry about turning so fast, guys. You really don't recognize you do it till you've done done it. Here's William. Something to Elizabeth Gotti or got her, or something like that. Anyways, died August 12th, 1877. He was only 20 years, 8 months, and 24 days. And this one's in the trees. This is going to be Macmillan. Macmillan's going to be the last name. And I can't make out the first name. Irene, I think. But I think they died in 1898. They were born in 1860. No, 1851. Best I can see by leaning on my head in the bushes. All right. Then we have Joseph, what, Burnett or something like that? He died November the 24th, 1891. He was 90 years. Three months and 17 days. That's a long life back then, I guess. Considering a lot of them died at 20 and 40. And yeah, that's an extreme long life. See, like this one here, when they couldn't afford a stone, they just give them initials on a plain piece like that. And I want to say that's A-G-B on that one. That's sad. What gets me is when you got the military ones and they just got a placard where they're buried. They ain't even got a stone. This cemetery is just depressing. There's no kind of life to it. But it is what it is, I guess. I'd like to try to bring some flowers or something out here and try to put on here. But we'll see. Anyways, this is Nancy. She's the wife of Thomas uh, Coleman or something like that. Died November 27th, 1871. This is a veteran stone. Now, see, they got some of the veteran stones like this, too. I have seen ones like this that's veteran stones. And it looks like he might have died in 1895. I don't know who it is, but there it is. A lot of these right here you won't be able to see because they're so black. They need a good cleaning. And I don't know what them people are using to clean them with. And some of them might come where you can see them again. I don't know. I've not really seen any yet. I am going to be doing some different things. And I'm going to be working on a couple different things to try to do. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm not able to make any of these out. But I'm just stopping on them so you, in case you guys can.